Oh, shoot. So, in terms of uh, the map today for Roche Island, I know there's some custom artwork here. Um, don't know if I, I got working. CK3D mentioned something about sounds too. I, I don't know why that wouldn't work. I mean, not that I'm an expert or anything. But the sky is like, the skies has a special little setup. And I don't know if it's trying to tell me I'm supposed to put these Like, it's telling me to do something to the .def file, but I don't know if I have to do this. This is a side note, just so I can give some time for people to filter and get situated, including myself. Um, I guess I could, you know what, you know what, let's do this. Because okay. this is, uh, from what I hear, this is a pretty big map, so for anybody who's new to the channel, I guess this will also count as a little intro, too. One of those little hotkey buttons I could just press to switch scenes. That would be so handy. That would work for everything. Like if I made another program, I could just hit it and still switch. I don't I'm assuming that sounds good. So because of the size of this map, I haven't decided if I'm going to do any mapping today on stream, or if I'll do what we did last week, I'll do another stream tour. Um, um, but we'll see, because I... Like, Just like last week. Um, so what you witnessed before you is Mapster32, which is, uh, for anybody new to this channel, the um, level editor for Duke Nukem 3D and other games like Blood, uh, Ion Fury, or Ion Maiden? No, Ion Fury is what they read. Um, why that will always never confuse me, unless I'm staring at it. Um, Shadow Warrior is another one, but it's essentially like a Doom style of it. So it's not true 3D, it's 2.5D. Let me load up something that looks more like a 
like a city here. So we can have a, an easier visual, visual reference. So we'll go back to the past, the little map that I I haven't given up on. It's just a uh, yeah. I, I time to kill music, by the way. Like I think it's pretty good for just some background music, and it doesn't copyright. Like I'm not monetized, so it doesn't really. It's not like a, a huge issue, but long term, when I start to look at stuff, I'm 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 constantly being copyrighted for Duke Nukem music, and uh, that's always unfortunate. The time to kill, not so much. Uh, so this is the you know what for for this too. I'll, the way to do all of the sky and I don't know the shortcut to it. Oh no. But that matters. I'm just trying to make a sky for you real quick in the sky walk around the city just to make this reference better I, I guess I could just look up the shortcut to do this like there's a, I think a button combo will just change all this in the sky so just imagine this is all sky Right, so just we're walking around a city and so this is like what a 2.5d engine does is you can draw it in lovely um, on grid paper on regular paper whatever you want to think about it if you could draw it flat on like an overhead view you can essentially do it in um, doom or in this case Duke Nukem. this is the build engine so we're kind of playing around with this making some levels of our own uh, which we've been relatively enjoying here i haven't finished anything so this is what started it which this channel was really me just documenting my progress for myself uh, and asking some questions along the way and then we ended up kind of growing it from there by starting to play some user maps so maps that other people have made to try to get inspiration for ourselves look at how it was built while we play it and uh, try to understand um, different techniques that are used to sell the illusion of a, a 3D world when you're really not 3D. I like the aesthetic of this as well. I've always been a big fan of the retro style aesthetic. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing because I also grew up with it, of course. Um, but I do like that chunkiness. Maybe because it also makes it feel like anybody can do it. Which is ridiculous because it's also a lot of work. Uh, for some stuff, especially, it's not like anybody could just go make some pixel art, for example. But I don't know when when it when it doesn't seem so incredibly hard to visualize like a modern 3D game. It feels like anybody could do it at home. Because I guess you could, like, it, 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 you really could. Um, but to me, in my uh, small monkey brain, it just seems easier to me. Because I have no experience with any of this stuff. So for me picking it up, I am... Uh... But meanwhile, it comes with its own difficulties as well. Because there are some stuff where if you just made it in 3D, it probably could be way easier. But for me, that's also half the fun, is trying to solve a problem um, when you're mapping here to pull it off. And that's half the stuff I enjoy when we're playing these maps, is sometimes there's going to be things... Um, like actually, last week we played Memories, um, which will harken back to my house, which is a, the big Doom mod. But that was one where I played it while I was learning this. And so there are some concepts that I did understand already. And that was more impressive to me when you know how the sauce is made. And that's one of those things that becomes really enjoyable is then seeing things that other people pulled off when they make stuff and be like oh man it's it, it, it's the equivalent of sometimes you'll see i guess maybe not everybody you know stuff or watch this stuff but uh i do like 
just casually magic. Every once in a while, you get a little magic binge and I'll look up some magicians. And one of my favorite things is when I see a magician do a trick for another ma magician where they know about it. Maybe because one of my first memories is Penn and Teller, not my first memories, but like of Penn and Teller in this case, is I saw their uh, special where they traveled the world. It was like Penn and Teller's magical mystery tour. It was on late, late at night when I was growing up. And so I started watching it and that was my first introduction to them. And I saw uh, Teller, actually, well, I guess I could have kind of vaguely knew of their existence. Um, but I knew Teller didn't speak. And that was also the first time I heard him speak. It's funny enough you should say that. That's kind of where this tan is going to go. So for, for that comment that says, uh, speaking of my house, have you heard of memories for Duke Nukem? And so the trick is he sees a, a guy do a cup and balls trick where, where a guy ends up uh, hiding a, a, a ball under a cup. But because Teller is a magician, he already knows how this is done, but he's still impressed by it because he likes to see how another person does the job. He, he, like it's it's the idea of seeing an expert at work because this guy is an expert at it. He's been doing it all of his life. I think he's like Indian, and he was just sorry. I got a weird order message. Order what? So and he's doing this cup and ball trip, but then all of a sudden, Teller plays the fool like he plays the the just the regular guy going and trying to find the ball and so he he knows the misdirections that this magician's doing but he t points at the cup that the ball would be under as if he was just you and i just walking up and trying to figure out where the cup and ball is but the ball was under there so what was happening was this guy this expert uh, cup and ball guy, which sounds weird if you don't know the context. He ended up going in, he, he knew Teller just by looking at him, knew he like he was a magician. So he pretended to do the moves just to throw him off. So when we go and start to look at stuff, uh, like in my case, when I was referencing my house, and I started to see them do tricks intentionally to play with my idea that I might know how it's made. That's when it became even more enjoyable. And it was enjoyable to, to, to me, I think anybody. So last week we played memories here on this channel. So for the Cirrus Caco Demon, we have in fact played memories. I think that was amazing. I think um, what I wanted out of my house was more my house. And that scratched that itch for me. Um, and I kind of, it's one of those other ones that I do want to revisit as well. Like my house, I wanted to go back and play. And Memories was the same thing. I wanted to go back and play. Like the following day when we went back, uh, last Sunday, we did a mapping only stream. And we ended up uh, in this little map. I'm going to just wander around here while I'm doing this little tangent. So you're looking at different things. This is a car I built. This is very old. Um, there's so much stuff I could redo better, easier here. Now. Um, but Memories was just so phenomenal in terms of how it was made and built. And I was suckered into that one as well. I knew nothing about, I don't want to spoil it. Like, I don't really want to spoil it. But yeah, if you, I guess you kind of, it's spoiled already if you know, once you reference my house and then you mention memory, it, like what Memories is, um, you'll kind of know what it is. But for me, that illusion wasn't broken until I played it. Even though I played that author's maps before and I should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming, um, but I didn't. And I think it was great. And knowing that there's more under that surface too, we got the regular ending and there's like a, a secret ending. There might even be more, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know if it's like going as deep as my house but it definitely does have more layers to it. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go revisit that one. And those are the type of maps that I'm, I'm very excited to play sometimes. There's nothing, that, that doesn't mean that they're better uh, or worse than anything else. Um, it just, it's just like, I like that funness, that difference. I think, what oh, this is, yeah, this is the only slope sprite I have here, I think. Everything else I don't think is. Now, if you might, if I may ask though, why are they cancer? 
why am I making a decision that could be very, very bad for my health? I'd love to know that. I was trying to figure out how to, how, I wanted this to open, but this was something that where I, I really didn't know what I was doing. So I, I, like I, I think maybe I, I did. I was trying to make a simple car. So this this car, well, basically what happened is I, I had this car. This is my first car I made ever made, Mapster, and I was very proud of it. Except then I learned how like sprite hierarchy and stuff like that. So I don't know why my gray out is on. I don't remember. is I want gray out Okay, that's a good point. Yeah. So when I, it's funny that you should say that too, because when I first started this, and maybe this is CK3D's fault, so we can blame him in the end. Um, is so when I first started building things here, which is what what uh, not this was. This was the first thing I built before stream. I've shown this before, but I guess it's always fun to pull back up. Um, this is where the car came from as well. My concept of sprites in build didn't exist. Like, I knew sprites existed, but I, I wasn't really contemplating that things were being built using sprites. So I wasn't really using them to build things, per se. I might have added them for, like, little decorations, but I wasn't building things on sprites. Uh, so I was trying to minimize the use of sprites as much as possible. And so that was how I started building all this stuff. And then we ended up, when I ended up saying, okay, well, I'm going to switch over and go to my new map or whatever and start again, because I, I was a little rusty by this point and because I took a break, I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know the right way to build yet and i started playing some other maps and that's when i started playing blast radius i think and I found out sprites are used way more in maps than i thought at least nowadays uh, because of those limit increases and then i started using them more too but originally my thing was i want to do everything out of sprites which is why i did this out of sprites granted i have no idea i would how i would have done something like that out of, out of uh sorry i mean this is out of sectors uh, but I have no idea how I would have done that in the sprites either. Like, without doing custom art or something like that. Uh, or the car, same thing, like, within reason. But that, for example, like, this this thing was, this is sectors, but now, this is one where I would just use sprites. I would just throw some sprites together, smack them together. Um, but grand, I, I don't do lighting yet, really, so I don't know if I'm doing anything <laughs> right or wrong yet. So for my diner, where I'm using these little slopes for, for that, um, the only other th thing I was thinking of is, but I found that out about this after, is is doing the uh, sector over sector trick. But I, I guess I can't, or maybe I, I could do it, but I have to enable some modes. Um, but the idea is even this, I already know I would do this differently. Uh, to cut it down because i was trying to do this in a way to cut down on sectors and walls uh, uh adding the ability to floor non two textures probably help feel sprites use maybe you mean where you could just like flap it flap it to the ground very easy 
my terminology skills for this stuff is still pretty weak. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's a good little intro. So we're we're, we're building some Mapster stuff. Um, but today I don't know if that we'll end up doing that on this stream, depending on the map length. I don't have anywhere to go today, thankfully, so I, I also don't mind hanging around more. But uh, I also am not against doing another mapping stream tomorrow. Uh, where we work on some other stuff for our main map so this is this is we've then started because <laughs> i can't finish anything uh, but this is because we started something for a project where we started making a stream map and that's what we're working on on stream exclusively what is the gray what is the gray on the bottom Control something. Oh my god. Oh, there is so much. Originally, any texture that wasn't Dimension 6464 64 couldn't be floor aligned on sprite or sectors in simple terms. It appeared corrupt. Ooh. The Diner Map's like a personal project that I will one day get finished. So, like, this thing is just for stream. That This is really what this is. It's I'm scared that actually I'm not gonna we're not really doing much mapping right now. Just moving stuff around. Just giving some time for people to funnel in. We're gonna jump into the map actually pretty pretty soon here. Um I guess these are all temporary textures, so it doesn't really matter. I want this to be closer so we can uh no clip through here. So that's, that's for tomorrow or today. Um, but yeah, the diner map's something I, I definitely do want to finish. That was meant to be more of a... Originally it was uh, just to build stuff, so not to, for playability. It was just I wanted to build something like a picture or sculpture, but out of build <laughs> um, for fun. And then I started to build it more of a level. And now I really feel like I should go back to it. But I think I'm, I have an I have a slight idea of what I might do with it. But it also might tie into what we're doing here. Just so I can have an excuse where if this ends up going well, this map direction I'm going with here in the stream map, that because I'm kind of fleshing it out more. And I have a little intro plan for it as well, but I don't know if that would be a separate map. Then uh, uh I might end up using that diner map as like a map after this because then i actually think i'd have more of a direction of what i want to do in that city map that i'm doing because i would be using some big silly launch points from this one that makes sense sorry somebody just sent me a message um i also grab a drink but we have a we have a special drink today I'm going to open up the readme here. You guys. Um, I'm going to grab this drink. Which is technically my side. Yeah. This isn't a very visual thing for you guys to see. I guess I could be super... ...in my webcam just for you guys. I don't want to stop the lighting. So I got the, the Duke Nukem G Fuel. I've never had G Fuel before. Um, I don't really understand what it is. It's an energy boost. So is this an energy drink in a powder? Or is this just pre-workout? Because like I've definitely had that before. But 
Um, this is Ego Boost Nuclear Sunset. I have no idea what that flavor is. I will tell you, I did open it, so I haven't tried it yet. So we're gonna make a, a little little cup, and that'll be our our, our beverage for this map. Um, I guess I should switch the scene so you can get to the replay. Uh, accumulating level bits, separate maps, then merging them later into one big level is totally feasible. By the way, nothing wrong with that option either. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just like, how big do I want it to be? And to be fair, maybe I could make it one big map, but for pacing reasons, sometimes it's good to have just something a little bit smaller. Um, but I also like big maps as well. So the, the Duke Nukem G Fuel visually looks and smells like this. I'm gonna whip out a picture for you guys. Oh, and if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, I saw the, the commercial they made for this, and it's absolutely... He looks like Johnny Bravo. Um, I find it funny. My, my idea was, it's it feels like Duke Nukem would have licensed his likeness to commercials, and they because they can't use him, because he's busy saving the world, they just get a guy to play a caricature for him, like a mascot for Duke Burger. He kind of looks like Duke Burger. That's what he does. That Duke Nukem in the G Fuel commercial looks like the Duke Burger head. I'm slowly collecting a bunch of Duke Nukem stuff, so I wasn't expecting anything Duke Nukem new thing to come out at all. So when that came out, I was like, oh, it's kind of like the um, the Evercade. I wasn't really planning on getting an Evercade, but then they released that Atomic one, and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get that. I'm like, nah, I'm not in a rush, and now it's like expensive. It'll probably drop right now. Um, but at the same time, I've, I've been bombarded by G Fuel ads all my life, and... I, yeah, he, yeah, th th he looks like, so this is the, I'm going to, actually, let me, let me flip over there. I'm going to watch the commercial. Depending on how passionate you are about Duke Nukem, I'm, I'm just a very jovial person, so nothing really ever bothers me, but I, this might crush people's souls. But if you view it the way I do, I think it's kind of funny. Uh, so th this is the Duke Nukem G Fuel promo, right? And that was my thing. I was like, what the, like, what, what is going on in this world where, where we now have Duke Nukem G Fuel with no game? Like there's no game that came out. So it's like, what, what are we doing this for? What, what, are we, what are we doing world? Oh, I just realized I don't have, um... This is not playing either. The tune's playing. Not that it's super important for this, but... I'm doing a, a little troubleshooting. Like an enemy who would go out of his way to fight in the prequel. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize my music was set up properly for, for streaming. But 
because uh, I haven't switched to it. So when I switched to my eduke scene, it stops that music because I, I did a bunch of behind the scenes stuff that nobody cares about. But for me, it's like, oh, yay, progress. Um, had heard people utter in the past, but I always envisioned some utility for video cards or something. Yeah, right. So I don't know what it is, really. Uh, but anyways, this is what it is. It's weird. I don't know it's an energy drink, but I bought it uh, for the member of BLR purposes because I'm like, what? This is weird. Out of out of nowhere. What a strange thing to exist with this Duke Burger, Duke Nukem. Um, but it looks like uh, candy rockets. So if you, if anybody's familiar with this, this is uh, these weird cheap candies that everybody used to have but uh, like every once in a while here they would end up in your Halloween bags if that's what it looks and smells like if they crushed these and just threw it in here so I don't know what that means in terms of flavor um, but I'm gonna make this real quick and that'll be my beverage for this map and then we'll get the, the let's play on the road some strange tangent that I wanted to go on for you guys. Why does it look like a cow is eating my head? Um, so, <laughs> the versions of the map are shrouded in black fog because it was made with Asian build ports. Can bump visibly up in the menu to eliminate. That's even there. Um, I, I was thinking about that based on the screenshots. Arma violets. What? When you say hearts. Um, they don't taste like hearts, though. I will say that. Knowing what hearts taste like, they do not taste like hearts. Uh, they're kind of like... They're like a chalky sweet. I like it. There's another one that I think of. They're not... Um, but 
Anyways, the scooper for that is weird. It's not a scooper. It's like a weird little... I don't know. I had an open head. what that smell is. I don't know what the smell is. Um, but I, I was thinking about the visibility when I looked at the uh, old screenshots and I saw that, that darkness. I was wondering if that was supposed to be like that based on the old builds. Uh, I'm wondering if the uh, the skybox is going to work. The new spy we got from the, blah, blah, blah. the new skybox? Because I, I have no idea how to get it working using the setup instructions that are included. I'll open them up as common if you think about it. I know. Um, I have no idea. Like, what does it... What does it feel like sunset? Like, I, there's definitely a citrusy there. I don't know why sun, I guess, makes me think of citrus. Like an orange. There's definitely a strong orange. Which I haven't had it yet. Could just try it, but it really wafted in. Um, this level is neither made nor supported by 3D realms. Uh, get a swig when we open the level up. To build that anticipation for this amazing promo. I don't necessarily mean that sarcastically, but I guess it tastes good. I also don't know what it's for. What it does. That's how you, you can tell it's not sponsored. Uh, one of the biggest and most detailed city maps. Oh, this is made by a bunch of people. Bunch of, bunch of regulars here now. Uh, come, came out on November 12th, 2006, right? So that's that's quite a ways away. Um, I remember until the early O's was hip to uh, sell bubblegum sticks in dynamite. I definitely... I feel like I recall a memory something like that too. Uh do you ask out Gown's amazing Roche series? I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's still Roche. Uh if you're reading this Piscale, just like uh Jax 5 and going back. Like lots of action, secret places, large urban areas to explore at the end. And there's two possible endings. You can take the easy way out, or you can do it the hard way. Fight one last massive and insane battle. It's all up to you. It took over two years to build, so you'd enjoy it, but we know you will. Max map exceeds the original limits, so it won't work without ports like Jonas or Eduk. Right now, everyone uses the ports. Got water and a pint of milk a day routine. I'm gonna be honest, it's probably better. I barely drink water to begin with. Uh, I, I think I'm doing better. That's what I, I try to tell myself. But I was somebody who drank purely coffee my butt for like the past week. So, um, now that I have water, though, I just forget to drink it. Or somehow I don't forget to drink coffee. Uh, most likely won't work, or maybe will. It's just something trendy to include uh, as optional at the time. Sherbert Fountains looked like a firework. Sherbert Fountains. There was this um, candy I remember. It was like, a, it was based on, like, it was called Asteroid. Oh, Sherbert Fountains. I think that's the one I'm thinking of that looks like dynamite. Yeah, that's definitely the one I'm thinking of that looks like a... for, for visual reference. Sherbert Fountain. Um, but there's like... The, they, and they were like asteroids. They were candy on the outside. Then they were chocolate. And then a crunchy core. They only last a couple years, but I remember loving them as a kid. Uh, read that. Okay, uh, Duke Nukem plans his vacation at Roche Island, a beautiful place somewhere in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. After looking around, Duke decides to pay a visit to Roche Island Park. Learn more about the history of this place, just as he's reading about Pascal Rail. Aliens decide to disturb the peas. Why? Well, Duke Burger has a new theme song, which gets played 24-7 all across the galaxy. There's no way to escape the song. It's literally, literally everywhere, and they hate it. Now they want to kill the man responsible, Duke himself. Meanwhile, Duke probably 
I had no idea. He's not involved in the corporate thing. That's why I feel this G Fuel thing, that G Fuel commercial makes sense as a Duke license. If it was in, if it was in universe, because Duke has no idea what 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 his name's attached to anymore. He's like the kiss of of that world. He's Gene Simmons. Dynamite bubblegum. Dynamite bubblegum. This one looks more, definitely, that looks way more like dynamite. Yeah. You know what? That would, that seems about right. That seems about right. Is, uh, is, it seems once, once <laughs> the bad stuff started to happen, we're like, we can't, we can't make things look like bombs anymore. Which I guess I understand, but dang, you terrorists ruining big bomb candy for all of us. Some custom sounds. I hope those... Uh, I like. I think they should. I was mentioning that earlier. I think they should. Because I, I feel like Edu does pick up on that stuff if I just choose that as a custom directory, but maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Um, I'm assuming the new song would be the Duke Burger song. Those were good. The chocolate ones. I I I know exactly what you're talking. If you're, if that's the ones you're talking about. Uh, way too large. New level from scratch, a lot of inspiration around two years. Apple must have got a band halfway through. Well, that's reassuring. Every time I think about abandoning something, no others have to. Uh, nothing major, a uh, couple of sprite glitches, uh, maps, like sprite work, author, main end. Okay, Duke Zone 3 is going to be included. Kind of unironically, would love to see somebody try to make a Duke Zone 3. Just of all these user maps. I wonder if you could, or if that would be like a licensing issue, even if it was like a free thing. It's a joke. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Now, if I did this correctly, Before I was just like playing the time to kill stuff through um, like YouTube and then playing it that way, but I went and added it as a file to OBS instead, so that I could listen to music when I'm mapping. That's not time to kill for copyright purposes. Uh, right after Dogville dropped in 2004, and it stalled forever. It's gonna get my here for uh, actual. Music. But the size was rather large for the. I was wondering that. I'm like, is it going to be big for the standard at the time? I thought Dogville was pretty big, actually. Um. Especially for its time. Uh, 
just want to quickly check the volume for this. I haven't tried that out actually. I had this off while I was taking some screenshots. That, that's always going to be the way trends work, you know. Someone's going to do something, somebody's going to like what they see and be like, you know what, I want more of that and then I'll make a bunch of them. That's how we get a thousand found footage movies out of Player Works Project. Which is great if you like that thing. Obviously not great if you wanted something else. Is Electric Boogaloo the reason, like, I feel like I, I see that in reference to sequels. A sequel called Electric Boogaloo, I don't know. Um, Duke Nukem G Fuel. This tastes like... A little sour. Um, I, I very much feel this tastes like a pre-workout. And I wonder if I looked up the stuff in there, that's pretty much what that is. Which I don't know how that would be good for, for sitting down and playing a game. I guess they could remove some stuff. Uh, so when I started this to take the thumbnail, I had no idea what that was. Because I was playing with sound off, um, and music. So I thought, I'm like, I had no idea what it was. I thought I broke the map. But I also didn't read the, the read me yet. It's like we looked at then ask, is he gone for real? It, was this your... Was this your way of putting the bat signal also he would uh come i do wonder though if pascal did stay right if he stayed would he have kept going in this style because i've seen people take like a pivot and stop wait 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 sorry just what version of edu am i using oh three sixteen It's not the newest one I had. Yeah, this is the newest one. They still have. Did they not fix that yet, or did they reintroduce it? This the HUD's back to being weird. Maybe it's not. It just feels like the spacing is a little weird for the um, the stats, the level stats. Okay, so we have five secrets. I need crosshair on. There's actually a button for it. First library is by Taivo, opening book sequence, an idea Martin. Do, I want to do show. Yes, is that the thing? Show underscore FPS? Is it show FPS1? Show. It's not. I just like to get a good judge of how, how these are running. I 
I tackled when it became clear we weren't getting one from the guy. And rate in game. Wires tangled up here. I didn't notice so something was clipping my headphones. Maybe it wasn't a cat that ate my headphones. It was my computer. Uh, DN rate. Uh, this is the right music, by the way. Did you mention cu custom sounds here? I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm not playing the right one. Hail to the king, baby. Zooming in because we're going Roche-esque. I want to see see what we're doing here. I do wonder, yeah, like if he kept building Pascal, would he have uh, even changed styles and maybe not tried to go for realism, realism going like a completely different direction? about me taking my time here it's just because when we get into pascal's hyper detail more detail oriented like uh right word slopes it's harder for me to tell what may or may not end up being a secret um unless it's a little but it's it's weird because i also try to build this way sometimes uh for, with a midi normally if i recall but it's smoke on the water on a loop for 90 minutes What would better encapsulate? Uh. <laughs> Payback time. What? Sorry, I'm, I'm just, I, what just happened there? I, I don't. I was pressing some buttons to try to change the music. And then Duke talked. It caught me off guard. Hail to the king, baby. Okay. Something I can open. We try to open that. Yellow key card. I'm guessing the sounds are working.
there was a way to trigger the men a level that destabilizes the game. They are. Can. Like, and you can understand why the aliens might want to kill everybody because of it. Oh, this is neat. I, I, I don't feel like I don't see people have people go through rebel more like that. I don't know why. Oh. Why that seems so strange to me. Yeah, that's definitely a Roche car. Library of Roche Island. Can I jump on here? Got, the, got a nice little sun up there. You can shoot this, I, it, but that's like a dorm. Oh, you did it. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice little, little touch. I don't want to grab that yet. I don't want to grab that yet. I want to get uh, some health, and we'll grab that uh, atomic health over there. I'm gonna ask because we, we did talk about the visibility. Is this a, I, like I know obviously there's gonna be a change, but should I up the visibility? Like, because if I'm thinking this is supposed to be the daytime, should I be seeing further along? No. Is it in, uh, visibility? Let's... That's it at 200. Yeah, should bump it up now. Yeah. This is at 200. Yeah. I think that works better for outdoor areas. Don't really... You know, but I, you, you want to try to capture the vibe that was intended at the time. I hopped over that. I was thinking, I'm gonna hop on that. Uh, let's see. Okay, atomic health. That's what we're gonna do. Stalker may be my like secretly favorite Duke song when I think about it, just because it's the one that I hum. Uh. In my head often without even realizing it. It's like my low key favorite kind of thing. Store your crap. I wish there was a way for the map to set it. Maybe you can now and do something you need to update. Oh, wow. There's... I think my, uh... I don't have my hit scan settings set here for certain things. I just realized. I do like, since we are going uh, hyper detail with a comment with some, some details here. Because uh, I, I can definitely tell. The inspiration for sure. I like this type touch, I don't know if we're ever going to go here, but even if we don't. 
No, it never does. I'm so glad I, I started taking advantage of that more because I, I definitely remember as a kid I did. And it's not that I, I don't think I didn't know about it. I keep flip-flopping whether I did or not. Um, but I feel like I did. And I'm just kind of taking on the traits of the LGR video where I feel like he didn't know. Jump, maybe up here though. No, invisible wall. Invisible wall. Who wants some? For a minute, I was like, wait, is everything Duke Burger here? Like, that's a Duke Burger, that's a Duke Burger. There's a Duke Burger sign over there, but that's a shopping bag, so we're okay. Maybe we're going to see more Duke Burgers, which would be funny if that, that's where we're going. Um, if anybody is not familiar with how I, my play style, I usually, if I enter into an area like this, like an outdoors style area, I'll clear the outside before I start to transition to the inside areas. Like that. I feel like it's a thing we could... Maybe if I pop them. Where was my save? I want to try. I might, I won't, I might want to really try here. Dang. That's not a one out we can open. And I really feel like if I could have hopped on that, hopped on that, and then hopped over there, gone in there. Uh, but now what I'm going to have to do is take the less dangerous of these two. This guy. Uh, this one, right? I need you, sir, to come over here so I can uh, play a little Mario with you. But I don't want your friends accidentally killing you. Um... So, could you come here, please? Get down. Stop, 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 stop. Stop moving, stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, almost there. Come down, come down. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Thank you. No, 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 I didn't say shoot. I said come over here. This is going to be an invisible wall. Watch it not be worth it. Oh my god. I'm sliding off of him. That's what the problem is. Here, let me reload so I'm not, like, losing all my health to this guy. Maybe I should have used a wider target. Uh, I don't know if that helps, but I, I've definitely done this before. It's because he keeps shooting me while I'm doing it. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. I hit myself. That was a net negative, I feel. <laughs> oh, we found a secret. I do like this bathroom. It does look nice. Like, it de definitely very Pascal-y. Outside. Oh, we got chain gun. I feel like we got a pretty heavy arsenal early on. Like, even this stuff, like this little detail stuff right here. It's like, oh, I did this as a raised sector. Didn't have to. Um, 
Well, this is a big outdoor area. Oh, I guess they did say big for its time. I don't know if anything's in these. I should probably not break everything I see right away. I need to use it for jumping. Secrets. If there being drones in it, yeah, yeah. Hidden garbage drones are always a, a nuisance to society, for sure. I forgot I didn't take that thing out yet. I do love the mechanic though, where you can just take them out by hitting the back. What a fun idea that somebody thought of. Yeah, I imagine this isn't really like this is this is a tribute map. So, like even that with the little smoke stack, that's pretty cool. I don't see many smoke stacks like that. and trash that they did. Okay, so I think we pretty much got most of this section. Uh, we could divide that out, so we'll go down this route, see what this, the road brings. Another Duke Burger. I think this is it. This is the joke. Every, there's Duke Burger everywhere. Dude, like this. Adding those beams across, very texture world world that seems very intentionally placed that help interesting if that's going to be a thing. There's no con file edits in here, so maybe not. I don't know how they're going to do the two secret endings we can get. So there's the red key. So I don't think we're going to be going in there. That's interesting, though, that you did it like that, so you could see in. A lot of work for that, but it's cool. Holy cow. A little overkill, but, you know, sometimes it's worth it. could go down here. We're not going to go in there yet. Not going to go down there. Interesting way of doing this. Interesting, so you could jump across, that's cool. So this, though, high enough to jump into. Could 
made the building is with a sprite floor. Blew me away at the time. I like the bench. It's a nice little bench. It's always fun seeing people build benches. Or seating in general. Last radius has taught me to uh, try to hop on everything, so I'm just hopping on everything. Okay, so we got the meat disposal. We got the Duke Burger over here. If we tried opening these, I don't have 3D realms. Opens. Um, can't go in here. We can open that door. This is a. This is The blue one. You See if uh, that amounts to anything. There's nothing funky here. Well, w there was the one we did see. Like, we tried climbing this, but I can't jump high enough to get uh, up on top of here. So I don't know if I can get on top of that. Uh, and then this one. This one I hit an invisible wall. Um, this one I, oh, this one I could jump on. Invisible wall, so I can't do that one. Like, the one I, I know is this right here, but... I can't get, I can't jump that high either. Um, like, I can jump this high, but I can't jump high enough to get up there. Uh, I guess there is the 3D realms. This is a sprite floor. I could jump on this. But I don't think I have the height to jump up any higher. Uh, and this one, I guess I can try again, because we did hit a wall. On the center roof. It was it was just I think it's because I was hitting this. Yeah, I hit this at a weird angle and it bounced me off, so I just assumed it was. I like this. I like these signs. Here, let me turn run mode off for this though. Alright. Hit it. Let's save. Oh, was I supposed to go up here? I guess I should have picked up on that on the um, view screen, but I didn't know it was this building. I thought that was going to be over there in the bar area. Okay, well, more climbing will happen. It is definitely inevitability. See the RPGs up there, so you can see the visual reference of something. You see, a, I see an atomic health at the very top, too. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to take fall damage, so I'm trying to drop down safely here. I don't have a shrink ray. Yeah. So if we're lucky, he might actually just kill himself this way. I'm going to turn off uh, auto aim or something.
A yellow key card. Did we try opening this up? Oh, we did. Uh, was the yellow key card in here? No. Uh, let's go to the meat grinder, actually. Before we use any key cards, let's go to all the areas I think I can go to. Without them. Ah, I see the RPG there. And then there's a building here, so it feels like I kind of need... ...to get in this building to jump on there. Maybe. Oh, actually, I can... Assuming you have a shrink ring? Invisible wall? Invisible wall. Now, how would I convince myself not to want to jump on that, right? Since I'm, I'm trying to jump on everything, I'm naturally going to think I can jump on that. Because it's the right size, right height. Then you hit an invisible wall. Uh, okay, so here's this. This is where I want to see. <clears throat> Didn't blow up. This little tiny screen. <clears throat> Friggin' <clears throat> probably just detailing. Okay, jump down, jump down. Uh, so this one I still don't know how I can jump that high. A lot of stuff I'm actually even talk about. It's uh, for me trying to mentally understand how how would I avoid that problem for myself? If I was building so maybe raise that a little higher for myself. Uh, this one though, this one I still don't understand how I'm going to get on there yet. And it just seems so strange to have that there. Um, so. Just not high enough. Okay, so meat grinder it is. Okay, so this is the meat grinder. I don't know why that's going to be important. There's that, that light that draws my attention to it, but... Okay, yellow door it is. Health kit it is. Uh, this, this, this. Stop. I kind of admire some stuff right now. Nice little uh, idea for doing these stones in a way that actually kind of works. Doesn't feel too much like this texture as it was intended. 
Okay, so we got multi yellows. Multi yellows here. A, a visible wall right there. Oh, this is all invisible, so I can't go off this. I like these little cracks. These are nice. There's little details. Again. Very, very... Which I think Wake was only one cable multi... Oh, uh -huh. Beach is... like, like this boat. Again, I naturally keep trying to run there. Like using multiples of color key? I just think, like, was default Duke something that could do it as well and they just never did because of the map sizes that they were trying to make? Uh, I just don't know if that was something that was added through eDuke specifically. <clears throat> Uh, jump on that. I think I'm just jumping on, on just that, though. Interesting design work here for this. suspicious that window, right? Okay, so can I go on the boats? I can't go on the boats. Can't go here. There's a sewer somewhere you can find. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that's what it is. I was, just, I was just making sure. Oh, oh, see? This is why I didn't do it. How did I not see that little health, though? I definitely can see how that would be confusing too at the time. It's a little too small for you, bud. that again just because I know I can do get more health now. Damn I'm good. 
Oh, he dodged that like Neo. No, I have this med kit, and I could just use that. That would probably be just as good. In my mind, I never want to use the med kit. That's an absolute emergency. Okay, bye. Oh, you're back now. Oh yeah, this is very, that's a Pascal bathroom for sure. Look how cramped it is. So much details. Not size four by four and shit. Wall. We need a revision. We need a remaster of this so it's more Pascal. Oh, I like this area. After my uh, parents at the time. Oh. Always real life inspirations are always cool. Damn, I'm looking good. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting way of doing different CDs. Okay. Just so much to look at. You never know what's going to be important. Like that is what about people? We got the yellow cards, so I don't. I think that might be it. Might be. You can always come back. Interesting little uh, item drip will drop there, or respawn it, I should say.
shots, why not? I knew that was something. Uh, now, is that going to be a secret, or is that... Oh, I guess that's the main thing I'm supposed to be able to go into. And got stuck. Um, I don't know if I'll get stuck. Uh, what maps have I actually been stuck on? There's, like, the Toilet Duck map. Um... And last piss time I got stuck on for sure. And toilet ducks was definitely because I, I just like I knew what I was supposed to do. I just couldn't mentally put it down. I should have wrote it down on this paper. I should have done. Trying to remember it and then go back. Okay, so I have to shrink and go in here, I'm assuming. Is that why you're giving me a shrink ray? So what am I gonna be able to shrink off of? What is reflective? Are you reflective? I wanna save. I guess maybe that. Um. Is this something? We'll see. Not reflective. Not reflective. Not reflective. Not reflective. There's a thing. There's a crack there. Shots of key area for the map so I can remember for later for some stuff I keep thinking about doing. No hold, zero to ten. Don't give me something to explode if it's not gonna explode. Uh, 208. I accept that. Cruel. That makes sense why you would put that there as a trap. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Oh, I don't have my thing. these little details of seeing somebody's TV, for example. That's always nice. Um, that is... I guess I could try that. I like how only this door opens. That's kind of nice. I do like that. Though, granted, I, I do get stuck on the doors trying to open.
I guess that's it. Oh, we got some sector over sector here. Makes sense. Uh, okay. I'm starting to understand the complex, co like, context of what you can do sector over sector by just looking at the stuff. Okay, this door looks like some of the doors look like they could open, but I'm guessing they can't. Well, I should push the trick that back down and go. First yellow cash register works. Okay. There's so much stuff. Uh, hello, Phantom three five four. There's so much stuff that like I haven't been able to interact with that I I'm now not sometimes sometimes interacting. Like I'm not trying to interact with that where normally I would. Um, which is one of the negatives I guess with this design aesthetic is it just means like. Feel like I have to be more clear if I'm going hyper detailed myself personally in my mind uh, with what I'm doing. So what did that do yet? I heard it open all oh, this. Take a swig of our uh, Duke Nukem G food. Still don't know what kind of flavor it is. Like it definitely, definitely a, a like a orangey. Maybe it says it in the ads, but it doesn't give it away when you read it. Doesn't taste bad. I just don't know what it's. Uh... Not bad. It's pretty good, I guess. I just don't really know what you feel is. It's a busy environment, yeah. Um... Which is very Pascali, though. why it feels like I'm going higher when I paused it, so it's just a weird thing I was doing. Um, I don't know where the battle... Oh, hello. Oh, oh. While I do think I would like if Duke Nukem 3D had a, a like maybe a couple more enemy variants just to play with, uh, at the same time I feel, especially with strategies that were developed over time, like the shrink ray on the Battle Lord being so efficient, where some people might feel that it's cheap, to me it does mean you can now use those Battle Lords more like uh, regular enemies. Um, and. And that was fun. It uh, does mean I, I feel it does expand the roster a little bit. Oh, I thought that I totally thought I could do that one. Okay. Uh, I also really like this game. Phantom. Five four. That's why I uh, play it once a week now. Um, wonder if this stuff has changed now. Still can't get that help. Still feel that's trying to tell me something. Uh, red key is over here. I don't think anything changed over here.
interesting use of this box texture, actually, to, to do these walls. Yeah. No idea what that unlocks. I'm assuming I'll see it while I walk back. But um, yeah, I feel like I would have maybe seen a secret already, but maybe I'm just not seeing one yet. Maybe that would unlock the, the meat grinder. This house is pure Taivo style. Do, I did feel like it... Uh, not that. I say, it gave me very much the, the mansion from Roche vibes. Maybe get just some brownage. this Unlocked the big building? Are we talking about this big building? This big building. Oh. I wonder how I would have known that. I guess I would have eventually just tried everything. Oh, I like this. This is nice. It's a nice looking room. I like this. I guess the shape and color of it. The contrast. Run around. Let these guys sort each other out. This. actually very few doors actually open which i do remember i like these couches these are nice i like how these are made because they feel like i would see real couches that look like this even though they are blocky so it kind of builds somewhere. That'll probably allow us to jump from there to there. It's not the opposite way where I have to go. Right? Gotta go. That opens. Testing which door is open. 
lay of the land here. Nice shading and coloring, you know? Things you never know, you never know. Something useful. Uh, kind of modeled the interior after a photo in a magazine, if you recall. See, those are the best when you take a photo of something and then try to build it. Uh, or when you look at something, you're like, I think I can, or I wonder if I can uh, recreate that and build. Those are the, the ones that I always enjoy making so far. Mainly because at the end, you're like, yeah, it kind of does look like that thing. Where I thought I'd be. Like, I guess it's possible we could come back here because we might go in this building that's right across. If I'm thinking about this, or maybe we can jump into that building somehow. Um, I didn't realize how tall that was. Otherwise, how would I get in there? I want to get in there. We might be missing something here. I guess we could go get there maybe from here. Something right here, just in case we see. Hey, pipe bomb. Actually, you know what? Give me one or two minutes. I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. secret elevator to get there? Okay. I was wondering if it was a secret, so... Like five minutes. I'm actually gonna go outside. Let's grab a quick thing from across the street since it says it's here, and then uh, I'll be right back. We'll keep on going. Uh, but now I'll go back and check that secret.
Okay. The one in two. Notebook. I keep I keep bringing a notebook around with me so I can remember to write things down when I have ideas, and then I just never remember to write them down. But at least I have the book with me. You know, I'm making baby steps. When I get better at my time management skills. Thankfully, this, to be fair, this channel does actually help me with, because I have to plan for this, which maybe to some people, not a lot, maybe it's, it's a lot. <laughs> gotta make a thumbnail, it means I gotta find time to do it, and then I try to add chapters to the videos for secrets and stuff. I still have to do the last week's video, but I usually try to get it done. And what happens is if I ever procrastinate, I screw myself over. If I'm really lucky, I get it done first thing tomorrow, right after the stream. Easy sailing for the whole week. This little wall right here, I do like that. That's pretty cool. Man, explosions in Duke look so cool. I like how they look. Get that crap out of here. Um, I got some invisible walls here, you know. There, it's so high though that that these guys these guys, so I'm guessing I have to, I can go in there. And maybe that's intentionally what I'm supposed to do. But... Oh, I forgot I was doing... I was doing this. I was doing this. this. Um, first off, is there... Is there actually anything over here? Waste ammo. Um, could be something right there. We're just experimenting. Uh, but no. Wall. This could just be a better way to get down. But in our case, we actually want to go uh, back across. Uh, reading Duke Explosion feels like setting up a. Uh, Fireworks. Yeah, I've seen them when they're in game. Maybe it's because they, they're those gas cylinders, like they have to look like those, I'm assuming. Um, it looks wacky. So I think the fireworks comparison is probably the best one there. Um, yeah, that actually is kind of what it feels and looks like. Okay, let's deal with this. Deal with this. I was hoping I could just focus on that, but I guess they have easy access to that uh, area. And so assess the situation as is. Um. Engage in any other way walk right into that one. I feel like one more right there, and I don't know if I want to waste. I can't, I guess, because rockets. Um, okay, so there's that. This one, this one, okay, okay.
was thinking if I steroid I did a steroid run and jumped, I could probably get a maybe on there. And that would be like a super secret if that was the case, but I, I don't see anything on there. Now this on the other hand, this is wow, that's unfortunate for me, I guess. Nice. You can get inside the three doors, but I don't remember how. The only one door works. Okay, well, we'll go back. We'll go back. Um, what do I want to use for this guy? I, I'm about to get this. I don't know why I'm not even thinking about what I'm going to grab here. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even... I'm sorry, sir. I didn't think you the attention you deserved. Looks like I still won't... to run, uh, this is what I was thinking of while I was shooting that man. Uh, there's that health kit. I'm like, why can't we get that health kit? And I was thinking about that steroid jump. That steroid jump would kind of put me in line with where that health is. Would that mean I'd pop out there so I could get on the hell? That seems like a weird thing. We'll check the 3DR building out. Do that. Let's do that. Because the blue card's right here, so we already know where we're supposed to go next if we follow the order. Oh. So this wasn't open though. Now it's Our logo that they had on the in the no it's not it's not high enough it's just not high enough it's just such a weird place to put a health kit and I don't know if it was always there or did I break a trash can and maybe it spawned up there like I don't remember there being a trash can right here or maybe that's where it came from Maybe it's a troll health. Like, he's he put it there, and he's like, I want people to keep trying to get it, and every time they do it, it's just big damage. That's why it makes me believe right there is where 
if you look at it where it lines up, that looks exactly where that was, right? As if it was going to be uh, a steroid jump. And this one's solid. Where these ones are broken. These one, uh, I guess these, no, yeah. And then this one isn't. Oh, actually, probably just the top of it. So it makes me feel like this was going to blow up or something. And you could come in and out of here. And you would, you'd be able to come back down without taking damage. So the one way. I don't know why we're focusing so much on this health, but it just... It's gonna haunt me one day when I find out it's super important to, to some super secret door. Even you didn't know about it. Yeah. Right? It's a troll one. It's a troll health. It could be. Uh, so I can climb these guys to get up there, I think. I'm pretty good at that. Maybe if I turn run. sense but probably just bad design or something that blew up we're gonna find out once we're done this I'm gonna open up the editor and I want to see I feel maybe maybe this one just high enough where I'm like, maybe I'm wrong, right? Like, because once you put two on two, I can't jump up over two. But then this one's kind of like angled weird. And it feels like some of these are solid and some of them aren't. Like some of them have blocking on. And you just need to find the, the, the right little combo. For fun, I'm gonna blow it up. So are these the ones I can I can jump on? Or could I theoretically Okay, I could choose which ones I would No, I didn't want to save, I wanted to load! There's nothing up there. There's nothing up there. Oh, can I steroid jump? Can I steroid jump that? Yeah, this is... I, I Visually, I like how everything looks. <laughs> That's why I normally have my light on. I'm like, ah, oh, I see the screen better when the light's off. I'm just hit the wrong button. Now, if this were like the Megaton Edition, I could go do a rewind. I do like that feature. I know my Megaton Edition would crash every once in a while when I used it. But I feel... I have to 
tape up my headphones. Um, I feel it was a good addition and I would like it to be an optional thing here. Okay, we gotta, we did, well, you, you gave me a pipe bomb, so I might be able to use the pipe bomb. And you gave me this. Uh, was there any other health? Okay, I just want to fill up on health because I'm going to do something stupid. Uh, uh, make sure I can do it properly. Could take a little sip. Hang out with you guys for a minute while we uh, you know, catch up on our H2O intake. Because since you've given me laser trip mines, I think I'm going to make it a rule where we actually have to try to use them. Okay, we're going to find... We're going to find some, some joy in these. And I know I never did when I first played Duke Nukem. Very much feels like a Duke match thing. Imagine somebody comes into stream just at this moment and this is what they think the game is. Like, oh, let's you just drink water. Wait one second, actually. I gotta grab some uh, electric headphones. Right. Yeah, Unless I get a jetpack and I can fly back in there, which maybe I will. Like, maybe I will get a jetpack. I don't think I will with this many invisible walls, though. It feels like something you wouldn't want to give somebody. Uh, it's such an open area. Maybe I'm wrong. Why one of my cats just loves eating headphone wires. And usually I'm good at putting them away. But then it's always when I'm lazy and I don't. But this one I think I might have been like just it Pop down. Okay. Full enough. Still thinking about those trees I blew up, guys. It'd be like my nom. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're gonna make... I already tried it. Already, I found it. I found out what we're gonna do. Oh, I thought it was far enough away. I got I got to do this one. I don't think he can come through. When I, I try to go in there to lure him out, he's gonna come. Uh, there. Boom. 
See, that's that's a combo. That still counts as using them. Uh, I don't. Well, get a little stuck there. You come through? Okay, no, I think there's like a sector over sector thing happening here. I'm gonna hit that on the way out. Way out. I saw the sign and I thought it was one of the, the um the, the shrinker ones. What are they called? Drones. Okay. We've made it into Duke Burger. That is reflective. That is small. I understand what you want me to do here. Okay. Thought the laser mines were so cool at first. I placed them just for fun. Well, so did I. Uh, I uh, like I definitely used them when I was a kid, not effectively. Like they were never useful. I never won a situation because of laser trip mines in single player when I was playing. Um, but I do conceptually like them. I think it's just it's just a tough thing to figure out how to use. And, and kind of articulate in a way where you can be like, yeah, set a trap for it, because I don't think it does enough damage, maybe, is my issue for the setup. Because it's not like you're setting this stuff, like, hours in advance. No, you're setting it up pretty much as they're coming at you. And it can be a little cumbersome to put, and you're looking away from where you're, you're being attacked from, so... There's some flaws to it. Maybe if it if it was like um, if it exploded and it exploded in a line like it shot outwards, so like when you trigger the laser, maybe this part like leaps off in an explosion and causes some explosion. so it has like a, a whole line effect of damage. Obviously, maybe they wouldn't have done that back then because that's a, that's, some, that's some sprites. But then you could increase the area of damage it does. But DM is, is different. Anyways, what we're supposed to do is shrink ourselves. Uh, you do it like this when you uh, do it. We go in, in, in this hole here. I should have maybe, maybe shrunk myself closer to the hole. Yeah, I should have done that closer to the hole. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make another save. I feel like I just had another non flashback. I want to avoid that scenario here. Okay, I just need to be further away. Oh, I'm just right there. This looks like a great place to go. I like, I, I've always liked this idea of shrinking and getting into a different area. It's a cool way to transition between different sections.
Where was what was the third secret? Interesting. Still thinking about that stupid that stupid hole. And then there's that force field. Maybe we'll come back. Because we did from the last section as well, so. Um, I don't want to deal with you. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Okay, okay. We're in the water now. Oh that. Through the packs. You're a genius. You're a genius. God, you're a genius. Stay there. Stay there. Did I use them all? Oh. I was gonna I was gonna use the trip mines to build a little platform to get to the hole. I was gonna make them useful. I like this sand castle, admire it later. Too sad. Too sad to acknowledge that right now. Oh god, there's a common health. I'm even more sad. Oh god. Okay. Um... Gotta treat me like a little bitch. There's a lot of a lot of cool looking things here. I don't want to get that. here. Let's, uh, can we go on here? We get on here.
Maybe one day we can. Not for these guys. Now we're in the water, so we. I feel. And I don't want to use it yet. I don't want to use it yet. It's not time. Uh, War of the Worlds. Look at that. I like these. Uh, I like these posters here. These are good. Like using the stock assets to recreate it. This one, is top tier. Mainly because I, I do like War of the Worlds. Um, I think that's pretty, pretty funny. I like these doors, broken doors here. Do it. I don't want to do it. I didn't get to admire this before, but this is, <laughs> this is great. I like it. I like the dedication to this bucket. Um, I like this little angle here. Be some inspiration for later. Um, I'm gonna take some screenshots. Wow, there's a whole little. There's another atomic. I see a battle lord. I see another battle lord, I think. I'm pretty sure. It could be assault. Uh, no. Is there a trooper? No, not, not that one. Assault can... Chain gunner. That's... Assault trooper? Yes. Yeah, it is. I'm trying not to grab that atomic health because I want regular health. Only have this, have this. There's some regular crap. I just need this. Get up on that. I want to clear out this whole area by the time I have to crap the crappy atomic health. I got a do-over? Okay. Well, if I get a do-over, I'm gonna do this. Sniper. Not yet. Anyways, that's, that was a lot better. That was a lot better. Um, we, can, we can get a do-over here. Uh, let's clear this, this first. Pistol, because it's better with these guys. See where we are in correlation to everything else.
Hmm. Like, there might be nothing up here. feels Where is it? strange to let me up here at all. Back to the same issue we had before. No health. We're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So, thankfully, we know there is some around here. We can take out these guys by luring them all in. We can do the same for these guys. Visible wall. Killing me. I know there's atomic health. I like it. I should just grab the atomic health. I'm dying. I know I, I'll grab it and I'll get like an inch further and there's tons of health there. bridge. I guess there could be... No. We'll do, we'll do here first. Clear the coast. Oh, is that why you think it's like a good combo? I like this, uh, it, it kind of gives me like a winter fallish vibe. Maybe it's just because I'm in an outside of the town. Oh, nice. I think they're quite quaint. sad when I find out people don't know what the hell it is. Come on. Dude, calm down. I'm just, for some reason, I can't save a picture for Halloween here. I would like to. Christmas. 
Okay, there we go. Spread the word of Halloween, Harry. What also reminds me of Halloween Harry? Maybe it's just I just played it around the same time as Serial Cyberpunk. That's what it's called. Why? It's. They're just platformers on the sea, and you had some kind of way of jumping higher. <laughs> I turned to look at chat for a second. And things spawn in to kill me. I uh, should get that. We should get that. I want to kill this thing. Um, we just won't jump on here. Okay, we'll, we'll search the bottoms here for help. I know there's one right there. That's probably the response. Uh, I don't know if I've played... I've definitely not played that, actually. Onyx. Map, Dean Bax. I don't actually think I've played a ton of Sonic stuff. I played a handful. Okay, we'll so grab health, and then we'll get these atomics. Go on these ones too. There's health right there. There's more up here that I didn't see. There's definitely ammo. Ooh. Uh, second used to be a lot of style. Oh, yeah. I still feel like we can go on there somehow, because there's a building on there. If not, that's also a cool piece of scenery, but that'd be cool if we could go there. Way to get up there normally. Replenish our health here. Around when he started, uh. These guys come from. Oh, I guess they're slowly coming through the slime slime land. I just didn't didn't realize that's where they were coming from. Uh, okay, so is there any way to get up here? go up there now. Well, not safe. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna get shot at, but... Uh, or another attack, you know. Another attack, for sure. It just feels very reminiscent of the, uh... So briefly watching so I gameplay about another attack actually before the stream, so another cool one by him.
Christmas. Jump up here, jump up here. You can definitely understand how you, how you'd find some uh, connection there. You know? Oh, makes sense. I still feel like I feel like something's up. Like feel like something, something, something's missing. Other than that. I like these transitions. Sli the slime's transitions are always fun. The water is close enough. We'll land in it. Who I wouldn't recommend trying. Probably. Depending on which building you're talking about, though. This is the one where I want to. But it's because it's sloped, it's hard to. Looks like there might be an invisible wall there. It's just high enough. Oh, I didn't know that was a key thing. I didn't see that until the last second. yellow card was. Yeah, you can totally jump in the water from there. Unless you mean that water. But yeah, that, you can for sure do that. Stitch there. Stitch issue. I gotta, I gotta go around this way to do it. Unless you oh, maybe not that one, actually. Unless I did a steroid jump. Um, I think... I think, therefore, I am, but, uh... Blue card. Oh, I guess I didn't go in there, so I haven't... I forgot about this whole section here. No one's even trying to go for rush anymore. Like, you still do got details, right? Like, you still have these weird hyper detail areas, but you're right. This just, like, this outdoor area doesn't necessarily feel rush. Maybe then when you add these little things, you're more rush -ish. but... Yeah, it's definitely more their style here. Definitely. 
like this move there. Pretty nice. boxes the atomic edition on oh, this blocked off so can't back there Definitely seen this a bunch before. And maybe, maybe does he use a Roche too? Just that? It was just in the map we played uh, last week. Actually, the dream map might be the first time I ever saw someone actually add weird vents that were just for like you'd have vents in a bathroom kind of thing, and then you'd see them on the outside again, and you're like, oh, well, I guess. Uh, so there's nothing here, in there. In there. I just feel like I, I, I'm missing stuff, but maybe I'm not. I do like this whole area. I'm shooting through there, but I can't. that little light too. It's weird, like I, I don't think I'd ever see that in the bathroom, but okay. Alright. Well just Yeah, you know there's there's guns on there. I see guns on there. This guy who would like to actually line these octoprates up a little bit just so I can do some devastator you through them and hit these guys at the same time and I need you guys to clump together. Actual fun, I guarantee. Break a toilet to spawn a fountain of water that you drink from to recover unlimited health. I could. So we're going to go back here. I, I hate that I kind of know where I feel like the secrets are, or a secret is at the very least. But because I blew up the trees wrong, I'm screwed. Oh, 
so that's one of them. Just decorative. Right. But then there's that whole there's the uh, meat grinder area, and that has a shield on it. So there's got to be a way to open that. And uh, I don't know what it is yet. Maybe a secret, maybe a secret trigger somewhere. Well, we'll find out in a minute. I'm gonna save it right here, so. jump in here oh this is your your uh, alternate universe your endings okay okay so we're gonna try to open the thing Look at it. I 
want to think I want to say it would be in here like how I would get in here would be be through here but when I You think that's it? Pressing the arrows right? Oh, it is. It is. Who wants some? Ah, uh, okay. Who wants some? I was, I was overcomplicating it. like the idea of having a like a final door have multiple keys to require entering it so you kind of know that's the final door okay now we're good i, I do like this by the way i've like seen a screenshot of this actually So we're gonna take the uh, pussy rat first. Oh, that's it? That's all it is? Okay. Now you're introducing new weird enemies? there just so you know so do I want to snipe these guys because the moment the first rocket hits them they're gonna move and they'll probably miss the second shot yeah what to do with all the walls so we copy half the map Just keep building. You never stop. Let it consume.
Okay, that's a legendary map. Have you played it? Yeah. Pretty fun map. I kind of like these. They remind me of the Duke Extreme box, mainly because it's like night vision -y, but they're also kind of transparent. I like how when you did copy it, though, it is a, a destroyed version of it. is in here. Ah, nothing. Finger can't reach the uh, shrinker button where it is. Sometimes it's a little hard to reach when I'm trying to move at the same time. Uh, okay, but I still think this is the right strategy here. Okay, so then I need to then take these guys out as fast as I can. I also remember guys wanted a, a map called Sanix Island. They planned to make the worst speed map ever created. Thankfully, they never did. That's the person was like, yeah, yeah, do it. In on a joke. Sanic was like, no, I want you to do it. Save here. We're doing pretty good. Take out this guy. Okay, so I think if I could get up... I wonder if I could get up here. Probably not. I was wondering, what, could it get back in there, or would that do something? Would that change things? Yeah. It was like, Winterfall was great.
Where? Now, I wonder what happens if I can get back up here. Gone. Oh, the secret's just gone. Bridge between two islands. This guy I want to take out. So let's let's play it smart here. I'm like grabbing the wrong thing. Uh, let's go here, and we're gonna jump up so we're on even playing field. I try killing this one. Invisible walls. It came. We can use these. We can use their crossfire officially. Then I can use this. A lot better now. I didn't know what to expect. Like, I'm, I'm okay with this being an optional area. Um, like, kind of lengthen it, but uh, or as in, like, a little optional challenge. And I do like the idea of it that's changed up a little bit, so they are... Like, it's broken up and burning. Obviously, it doesn't... Kind of gives me, like, pretty shaky... Grounds vibes. Or how you kind of kind of just use that same playing area just in a different way by blowing it up. Who wants some? Come get some.
me. Like someone's gonna sneak up behind me and I'm just gonna die. I also thought there. I made a central city plus first amount of time I made the street area. Ah, there we go. Take out this guy. I know I don't have to take out everybody, but you know. Okay, so he's not activating. I don't know why? If I jump up here, he will. Oh, this actually feels broken, so I can't jump up it. Maybe he's if I get on top of here, he'd activate. Come get That was toasty. Oh my. An epic Mac. Uh, the pinnacle <laughs> is capable of town. Town. It's a good map. Hail to the king, baby. Groovy. I think the thing is, there's a lot of user maps where it's like if we we were to take the same quality map and then have like five or six of the maps serve an episode and it was in a retail package we'd probably say it was way better than a lot of the expansion packs we have um, i didn't even notice that spaceship that's cool get on top of uh, the top. I don't need to get everybody out of that section though for me to try.
That's still... Yeah, he's still mortal. We're gonna outlive us all, mate. I like that. I see a hand guy over there, but you can see it uh, clearly elsewhere. So what else do we want to look at here? Got a lot of... That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Holy cow. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna save, because I'm gonna make this an actual challenge now. One. Oh, well. Die, you son of a bitch. That's good. That's pretty good. Open up the uh, the the map here. Pretty, pretty winded battle. Uh, but I do want to see what it looks like. The editor? We'll decide what we want to do next. It's situated. Here's Roach Island, or Roche Island, I guess, in, uh, in the editor here, so we can see how big it is. Here's the uh, copy paste version. So we have our starting off point here in the library that we have. That's all the tech is on. Right, so it's a bit of both. And we'll go back and forth. Um, so here's your little room for sounds. I'm assuming one of these is the where you've got the. A little, 
uh, what do you call it, the piece of paper you're reading here. Right, so when we enter in here, we're in clipping mode. Oh no. Do the screen thing where I looked at the button. Because I looked at the button, I don't remember what the button's on. stuff there. Never there. You know, you never know when you're going to find something that might have been. The one we wanted to check for sure was this. I wanted to see. Was that? It is there. It is there. Again, just because it looks fun in here. Uh, so you come out here, right? And they'll, the the master thing you're using certain sprites. Is, okay, is there a way to disable that uh, and display the sprites the normal way? Uh, yes, I I, well, I can. Yeah, I have to just remove my little add-on I have. So I have a little add-on for mine. That's all. So if you don't like uh, the way they look, like this. Um, Yes, I just have to remove the config file or whatever it is. So. And somebody's brought that up, uh, but right now, so far, it seems to be. I haven't ran into any issues with it, uh, but I do like the. So this is what gives me the features for like a different color background. It adds a few other things. I forget exactly what it is. <laughs> and it might, it might. If I did run into problems, I can always disable it too, but I have not yet. I'm kinda, kinda being hopeful. I want to look at here. We got to go in here, which is okay. We don't have to go in all the buildings. This this back area. Sometimes you get like a little secret things when you're wandering back. There's a way I can, uh, so I can turn off. I think these are voxels, actually, what you're seeing. So they're not, and uh, but I can turn them into just regular sprites as well. Um, but I have a weird voxel. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but don't quote me yet because I been a, a very very long time since I installed them and I never looked at it since and because I haven't really got into sector effector stuff or tons of stuff like that I haven't really um, played around with them too too much either to know if I would like them or not so I, I do understand too if you're just used to the older original way or oh, that just won't uh, you know And see, for me, 
I didn't like, and it makes sense when you look at them, but when I didn't know what any of the uh, sector, like the the letters were, it makes sense when you're just learning, right? But from a pure visual standpoint, when I, you're just like looking at things. So then that's why it's like, okay, it makes sense for me at least. It's like, okay, yeah, sector effector, activator, I don't know what that's for. Oh, like a button, a little touch plate. So I, I, I like the concept of it. Like if we're, you're trying to modernize things, uh, then I understand the need and want to do something like that. Uh, but yeah, you can turn voxels on and off with them as well. I like it as an option. That's what I feel like it's always uh, as. I think this is this is. I'm wondering like why why so many. That's just to break up the points there. Uh, I do want to see up here because this is where the guy is hanging eventually. You got this like. Sloped. A solid wall there. Why are you doing it that way? Oh, I guess maybe to get the wall down, I, I'm assuming, so you can get the effect of. Yeah, that's what you gotta be doing there, so that you could give the illusion sky. Yeah. Right now we're losing around here. It's a very big area. I want to go actually to the top of this. I liked the use of uh, being able to see inside stuff. I want to look at some of those windows too. Uh, and then there's anything back here, you think? Have you played the April Fool's? Uh, no, I, I should have actually done something like that on April Fool's Day. I was wondering if there was actually, uh, outside of Christmas, because I have played a couple of those, what other, if any, holiday-themed maps existed for Duke? Um, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll play them on, on holidays and stuff. I, uh, which ones existed? Never in a million years would I imagine a April Fool's Day. This is the way the, the explosions are done, which is so funny to me. Um, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Go there's these. These these was fun seeing stuff like this. About half the fun is watching stuff break on streams <laughs> and seeing uh we flounder around trying to fix it. Actually, kind of impressed how how well optimized this is relative to hey, there's something over there. here to get Pascal back. Always like out of the bounds area stuff. That's always a fun thing. Uh, 
Oh, this is just like a tiny, tiny miniature, but it's it's good use of force perspective because I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think this was a little miniature. I just thought this was a building further off. I actually thought that might have been a little bit of the roof. Uh, some miniature stuff. Miniatures are good. for spawning and stuff. Okay, okay. This is... Oh, this is this area. Okay. Spawner. Oh, so they come out of the toilet. I didn't, I didn't even think about that's where they were coming from. Look at this little beach. beach area now. The yellow keycard area. There's a lot of areas where we couldn't go over here. I am quite curious. I perused around here. All these big troopers. something you won't really see, Pascal too. If you notice that. Oh. Little boat. We'll go up there, let's go up there. This is always neat to me, how you make these little sections, right? The forced kind of perspective where you're really just blocking things off. There was nothing up here. Like, I really thought something was going to be here. This is such an open area that I don't think there was as much you could do. Maybe in the theater area? Even then. No. Make. Um, 
is the old way of doing mirrors. Really not a lot of places you can hide stuff up here for like if we're looking for, for interesting tidbits. These respawners. People would just connect the real map environments to windows. Are so open. Yeah, but in this case it makes sense why you couldn't because I don't think this this makes where it's laid out specifically. In terms of options. connected to this, that's why. Oh. That was like a completely separate thing. So we have this, 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 we saw all this, so then this looks like it would change. This, however, does change out here. Let's turn on uh, gravity so I can fly, or turn off, I should say. Uh, I liked how this was. This did change. This little addition. I like. I loved the ship. Oh, it made sense. It was shooting. I never really realized that's what was happening because I noticed that so late. Uh, really nice ship design there. I don't know if this was something. This is based on something. That section that was first ships I ever tried designing on that scale. It was a good ship. I like it. Well, it's a Kiki. I was hoping the face would have changed. just copy and paste it so I don't think we're seeing much new uh, like hidden hidden details actually this was really really tightly built when you think about it um, so yeah the only real thing we had was that that little face that I can see um, when I'm looking at this pretty certain things I can I, I just know what to look for 
Um, I think that's all the hidden little secrets that we might be able to find here. There you go, everybody. That was... Roche Island. Which definitely... was Peskelly in the beginning, and then you're right, it kind of started feeling more like their style as we branched out into different areas. Is uh, what, I, what I was thinking. Now it's, yeah, it's it a really nice map. I really like that. Now the idea is like, what we could, um, I, I might keep this stream just for the map itself, um, for this itself, because there's something else I'm, I'm going to work. I wanted to work on related to this, uh, and I got to get some other stuff done. So I might just do the stream, stream, uh, the let's play today, because I'm thinking about doing what I did last week, coming back tomorrow, and then I'll do just some strict mapping. That way I can get caught up on some stuff that I was trying to get done. I uh, get the chapters from last week because uh, I do want to add that for the memories video because that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool map. If you didn't play memories yet, go play memories just for an interesting, different experience. Um, otherwise, you might <coughs> sorry, you might actually see me uh, tomorrow at some point doing some doing some some mapping. And uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do another map for Clear the Coast, but if I do that, I know I'm never going to get the other stuff I wanted to get done today. But that was a really good map. I really liked it. And uh, if you want to see how to make maps of your own, or if you want to hang out, chill, while I calmly poke my build engine map to death, we're going to be working on them all, I think. Uh, and what I'm hoping to maybe get done today is some test stuff just to see if I can get certain sector effector and mechanics working so we can start fleshing out some of the, the trick areas that we want. Like, I, I do want to figure out that teleport section that we were working on for the uh, outdoor store area where Duke would get trapped. And then there's a shrink section I'm thinking about. And I mentioned it once. I want to kind of do a dirty test to see if that would work as well. Um, yeah, so you might see me tomorrow. But otherwise, this was a very, very fun little adventure. Very reminiscent of Roche 1 through, I guess, 9 if we count that secret level. See you guys possibly tomorrow at some point. If not, you'll at least see some updates from me. Have yourself a good day, everybody.